world. How's it going? We're at home today and I'm making breakfast. Eggs and pancakes. Apparently, Britt says that they go together, so. Sure do. Eggs and pancakes. All breakfast food goes together. All right, so we got milk, we got eggs. I think I can make pancakes with that. Oh yeah, yeah, Chevy. Smells good, doesn't it? Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah, none for you, none for you. Mmm, even Frankie's in here. Diesel? None of you should be in here while I'm cooking. Get out of here, go, 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 go. Further, further, further. Come on, back up. Stay there, sit, stay there. Good boy, Diesel. Stay there. Where did Frankie go? He's probably in here. There he is. You stay here, Frankie. No, 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 Chevy. Puppy. Patience. Lay down. Stay out of the kitchen. Good boys. I don't like them in the kitchen here while food is being made. Breakfast. Mm -mm. Oh, that looks good. You got the syrup over there already? Oh, yes, you have ketchup. Why is ketchup over there? That's disgusting. Oh, for the eggs. Do you guys put ketchup on your eggs? Well, supper was once again a success. My mom and dad came. It's really awesome to have them down here. Uh, they both work a lot, just like me. That's sort of where I get it from. Constantly working, working, working and uh, we never really get a chance to visit that much. And usually when we visit, I go there and spend time at their house, but today they were able to come here, which was a, a special treat for me. I really enjoyed it. Uh, so my dad just got back from a trip to Paraguay. Now, for those of you who don't know, my dad is Paraguayan. He was born in Paraguay. That's in Central South America. Uh, my grandparents, his parents are Canadian, but they moved down there with a, a bit of a Mennonite movement that moved there in the, well, when did they go down there? 1919? No, 1920s? When they brought public schooling in. Anyways, there's a whole bunch of people around here that uh, well, pretty much when we settled here in the 18, 17 and 1800s, we were promised to be able to educate our own children and you know, edu choose how to educate them, right? Like according to a certain standard, it was sort of all private schools at the time. Uh, and then in the early 1900s, early 20th century, the government comes and said, no, no, we're going back on our promise. We know you, pr we promised you this when you settled here, we know. But you know, like a typical government, we lied. And now you gotta teach your kids the way we want you to teach the kids. So they went into government schools and that's sort of when the public school system started up. I, I know I'm simplifying it a lot, but anyways, they got very mad and decided to leave Canada. So they went to Paraguay and that's where my dad was born. And uh, in the 60s, they came back. Uh, came back to Canada and here we are now. We can't stay away, I guess. They realized life was better here, I guess, and came back. But anyways, dad brought me a flag from Paraguay. This was the first time he was able to go and visit his childhood home since he was 14 years old. So he's been waiting a long time to go and visit Paraguay and see some of his relatives and childhood friends out there. It was very special for him and he had a lot of fun and he brought me back a gift. And you know how much I like flags. I don't have a Paraguay flag yet. So, trying to get this open here with one hand. Got me a Paraguay flag. This is my dad's home country. Though he didn't grow up there. He grew up here in Canada and my family before that was all Canadian so like Let's see if I can lay this out somewhere. Paraguay! Republica del Paraguay. Uh, the, the country itself is Spanish, but where my dad lived and where he went to go visit, they all speak German there, which is something maybe you didn't know. There's a large population in Paraguay that doesn't speak Spanish, they speak German. Mostly Plotnitz, low German. And on the other side of the flag here, it's different. Check this out. There, that side's a little different. It says, Pazi Justica. 
So yeah, that's a special one I get to add to my collection. Yeah, when uh, my ancestors before me got so mad at the government, so mad in fact that they actually left the country, my dad's side of the family, like I've been telling you now, went to Paraguay. My mom's side of the family went to Mexico. So my mom is actually Mexican. My dad is Paraguayan. Then they all came back here to Canada. Here I am. We're Canadian again. <laughs> because we they all were in Canada before. Long before. Like I'm talking like 1700s, 1800s. And uh, all because the government lied to them and went back on their promises, like governments do. They left for a while. They took their ball and went home. Well, they took the ball and went elsewhere. But they didn't like it as much there, obviously, you know. They went to Mexico and Paraguay. Obviously they came back. Life's a lot better here still. Even though the government here is still not what we would like it to be. So I guess you could say I come from a long line of libertarian thinkers. That's just the way our family's always been. We believe in individual liberty and indiv individual freedom. And that's probably why that leaks out into my content quite often. I don't like to get political, but that is something I'm very passionate about. Very passionate about freedom of speech and freedom in general. For people who, for people to live the way they want to live, act the way they want to act, as long as they're not hurting anybody else, the government has no business getting involved in their lives. You know, like, for example, if you want to be gay or homosexual, cool. I'm not going to stop you. Go ahead. That's your choice. That's your life. You're not hurting anybody. I'm cool with that. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman, but hey, you let me live the way I want to live and think the way I want to think, I'll let you live the way you want to live and think the way you want to think, right? If you want to believe there's no God, if you're atheist, cool, go ahead. It's not going to affect me being your friend. I'll still be your friend. As long as it doesn't bother you that I believe there is a God, that's cool. As long as no one's hurting anybody else. Go for it, right? And I know these are different examples than what were around back then. Back then, everything was a lot different. Like, this was the early 1900s. Obviously, society, culture, everything was very different. But these are sort of examples of things today that the government's doing that they're getting involved in people's personal lives where they have no business being involved in their personal lives. And what they did back then when they did this, we just upped and left. <laughs> They said, no, see you later. You're not getting involved in my personal life. I'm out of here. And they went to Paraguay, Mexico. I mean, they did end up coming back because the quality of life here is better. But maybe that helps you sort of to understand where I'm coming from in my background. Uh, that's the kind of thinkers we are. I don't believe in socialism. I don't believe in communism. I love capitalism. But uh, I'd, I'd, I'd say I'm center-right. But it depends. There's a lot of people out there that are so far left. You know, anyone right of Stalin, they consider far right. So to them, I would be far right. But in reality, when you look at it, center right, center left on some issues. Center libertarian. Don't bother me, I won't bother you. You know, type of deal. But you guys, you sneaky people, you got me talking politics again. Something I'm passionate about. I know that it's an issue. But I wouldn't recommend bringing up politics all the time with people. But it's something I end up doing quite often. I'm passionate about it. I, I like talking about it. Because if we don't talk about it, things don't change. So if you're not into it, I'm not trying to attack anyone or anything. Obviously, I don't think you would have gotten that impression off this video. But something I like talking about. So I don't know what else to say now. Go Jets, go!